Hey, well, boy, howdy, boys and girls, men and women of all ages and walks of life. Welcome once again to the building side of the garage. As you can see, I've got a neck out here. I showed you this neck the other day. It's from that Duo Sonic. And um, so I've decided to go ahead and stain that while I'm waiting for this uh, purple uh, Les Paul to really dry up good so I can top coat it. Start putting that darn thing together. Anywho, like I said, I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. Um, so without further ado, I've made up a little concoction here of yellow and just a tiny bit of brown. And I've, since I've already kind of did a little tester on the top, we're going to have to go with it because you really can't sound this out. Once you've got it done, you're done. But both of my other necks, or maybe three or four of them on my other guitars, were pretty bright yellow. And uh, I know that's a big color for fenders, but uh, I wanted to darken up just a bit. So hey, without further ado, let's go ahead and do some staining. Oh, I'm gonna be happy with that. Yep. Just dark enough. Um, to look a little a little more aged, shall we say. You know us old guys gotta have aged stuff hanging around all over. Yeah, I like this quite a bit. And this neck is taking it pretty well. You know, that last neck I did, it, uh, it didn't take stain very well. This one seems to be doing a little better. Kind of get as much as I can on here. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was gonna try the roasted maple look on this neck. I had all the wire wrapped around it. You've probably seen it in videos if you watch any guitar making videos. And uh, you wrap like mechanics wire all the way around it. Then you take a torch to it and heat it up. But I could not get this headstock uh, looking to where I wanted it to uh, for it to look realistic. So I gave up on that. Not gave up, I intelligently decided not to do that. You heard that, intelligently. So anyways, I just don't wanna stop. You know, um, one of the companies that I buy a lot of these kits from um, just sent me a little personal note that they probably didn't send to anybody else in the whole world. Ah! And they uh, said that they had a certain uh, bunch of guitars on sale. And, you know, I'm thinking, I might have to get a couple more. You know how many does a guy need? I cannot answer that. As long as I'm still able to play. I like that a lot. As long as I'm still able to play, I don't feel bad about making a guitar. You know, it's one of those things that if worse came to worse, and things were going crazy, and you had no way to make an income, maybe you could just go out on the street and what do they English call it? I think they call it brusking. Just go out there and sit there, not with, you know. Not trying to uh, 
take anybody to the cleaners or not to be a fake kind of person. Oh, I'm really liking this, guys. Yeah, I'm liking this darker one. You know, and here, let's just, let's just point out, and this kit, this, actually this is an aftermarket neck. I can't blame this on anything, but you know, even being an aftermarket neck, look at that. I mean, you can see that. There are just some spots on these necks that aren't perfect, um, whether they've got glue spots, and I've sanded the heck out of this thing. I took 220, 320, 400 to it, and there's still these weird spots. Now this is under on the body, underneath it, so you'll never see that. But it's still kind of disheartening because, you know, let's start wiping that off a little. You spend good money for a product, and it's not that it's not good, It's just that it's got these spots where it really won't take stain. Now, with my solo kit, once again, I'm gonna mention the solo kit. I never had that problem. It was all mahogany. And, um, it took the stain really, really well. Anywho, that's kind of what's going on today, guys. Uh, and I think I'm gonna like this, uh, just because of the fact that it's just not exactly like all the other ones I've done. I don't wanna be Mr. Same Guy all the time. The name will go on there, it'll look pretty good, huh? So, gonna try to put a little more on these really weird spots I'm not trying to vintage this thing out or anything so I'm not doing anything like that but you know I just don't understand that you guys somebody out there do some research for me and tell me why there's these big spots on some of these darn aftermarket necks. I mean, I could get out the neck that came with the kit that's all maple, maple prep board and everything, and stain it and see what happened. But I wanted 22 frets and I wanted the block inlays and the rosewood uh, fingerboard. But that's just, that's not pretty. <laughs> so I don't know what I'll do about that. Nobody's gonna really see it but me. But, you know, I'm trying to put a little more on there, and, and it is really not doing a lot. Anywho's, that's what we're doing today, guys. So, um, I don't want this video to be too long. Uh, I won't post it probably for a few days. So, I don't want to just make them one right after the other and have big gaps. So, I'm going to have to wait till it warms up just a tad to start spraying that thing. We'll see what happens there. I've been hoping for a good outcome on that. Uh, I will, once again, you know, I'll probably lacquer this one too. Clear lacquer. Because I like clear lacquer. It looks good. Anyways, um, that's kind of what we're doing today. Once again, I hope you have a blessed and wonderful week. Please pray for your country. Pray for your friends. Pray for the world. We're in upheaval right now. I mean, everything's just going nuts. Every prices on everything, you, every consumer item you can think of is going up. And a lot of us out here can't afford it. Now that's kind of silly to say as I hear, sit here with make guitars, but the fact remains there's a lot of people out there that can't afford six, seven dollar gallon gas. You know, since I'm a, I was a truck driver for a while, even though I work for a company and they, I didn't have to pay for the fuel, these companies just must be going nuts. You know, it's already up. One of my buddies that drives still, it's already over seven bucks some of the places he goes. 
Yeah, how can they make any money doing that when it was two fifty nine or something uh, a year ago, two years ago? Well, that's enough ranting and raving for me. But I know you feel the pain. Anyways, like I said, please have a wonderful week. Thanks for watching my channel. Um, please like and subscribe. And make comments, you know. I don't care what they are. Shoot, even share it with somebody you think might be interested in, in it. Uh, I'd like to get some more subscribers. That'd be kind of fun. Of course, then I'd have to actually do stuff and, and uh, make a real career out of it, huh? Anyways, I think I will end this video. Oh, that was number 35. Just stooping around on my loop pedal. I try to make loops pretty often. I just really enjoy that since I don't actually write songs with words and you know all that kind of stuff in it anymore uh i did that a long time ago anyways take care of yourselves stay safe stay well remember to pray and think have thoughts for your friends that are that need healing all right see you later bye bye